Rocksteady or Gyroflow? That's the big question for today's video. Which one gives you the ultimate stabilization for your DJI Neo footage? Both have their strengths, but let me tell you, there are some pretty big differences that might sway your choice. So quick backstory, I was showing my two-year-old son how fun drones can be and let me tell you, he was absolutely loving it. But while we were having a blast, I thought, why not put the DJI Neo to the test and compare these two stabilization methods, Rocksteady versus Gyroflow. First, let's look at Rocksteady, DJI's built-in stabilization. As you can see, it does a solid job smoothing out those shakes. The footage is clean and the best part, it's ready to share straight out of the camera. It's easy and that's a huge plus. Now let's talk about Gyroflow. For this, I flew the Neo in 4x3 mode with Rocksteady turned off so I could stabilize the footage in post. The difference is immediately noticeable. Look at the wider field of view. The footage looks incredibly fluid. So what's the takeaway here? What are the pros and cons of each? Let's start with Rocksteady. The biggest pro, convenience. You get stabilized footage straight out of the camera. It's perfect for quick edits or when you just want to share something fast on social media without the hassle of post-production. Now Gyroflow might take a little more effort, it requires a computer and some time to process your footage, but it has big advantages. For one, that wider field of view is essential for FPV style shots, and because it uses the full sensor readout, you have way more flexibility in how you crop and export your footage. So what's the downside of Gyroflow? Well, it's that extra step of running your footage through software. But honestly, it's worth it. You get better stability, more control and that glorious wide field of view. In my opinion, Gyroflow takes the crown for quality. But if you're in a rush and need fast shareable footage, Rocksteady is still a great option. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for more drone related content. See you in the next video.